have two huge bags of empties to show you guys. I've been putting it off, so this is just a whatever empties. I don't even know when these are from. Probably from September to now, which is October 4th today. Uh, Blonde Brilliance Perfect Blonde Anti-Yellow Cream Toner Kit. Um, I don't have much to say about it yet. You'll see in the video. I always use this as the L'Oreal Ferrier Absolute Platinum Advanced Lightning System. Uh, you know bleach for your hair to get it this light and it really does get it that light I mean I use it all the time this is a different tone however so don't like compare it to this blonde that I have Clairol nice and easy what is this I don't know hair color in number 6R Natural Light Auburn and this is what my mom uses this is not on me this is what my mom uses and she has been using it for quite some time and it's really really good this is the um, new stuff that we feed them I think yeah this is the Vita Prima Sunscription Chinchilla Formula um, it's a high fiber formula and all that type of stuff this is the Sensations Natural chinchilla formula thing again so looks like this is in a smaller bag this one's like eight nine dollars and that was twelve fifty or thirteen fifty or something like that um and you get like twice the amount um and then these chili chews um which were the little uh i hit myself in the face which were the little ice cream cones they went through all of those um i have this empty package but i was waiting until they finished up the last uh, ice cream cone and they finally did I would definitely purchase these again and they might get them in their stockings for Christmas but they have a ton of other things that they need to go through as of right now okay, I also have this L'Oreal Ferrier um, anti-brass conditioner it comes in this blonde hair color kit I used an entire tube just because when I was doing my whole hair process this is absolutely amazing if they made this you know by itself and not in the box, I would buy it. This is the um, Bring the Salon Home Kiss the Collection. Uh, I don't exactly know what these are called. Um, I don't know the names. Let me see here. They don't have a name on them. Really? No, they don't have a name on them. But they look like... I have them right here. There are these ones, and they still sell these guys. Um, I used the, I had like two to three uses of these, um, but they just started to chip on the edges and stuff, so um, they're pretty much done. I love this length of myself. They say it's a medium, but for me, I think it's really long, but uh, not like really long, but they're pretty long. I don't say, I don't think that's a medium length at all, um, but that's just personal preference, I suppose here this is the soft soap a body scrub coconut butter exfoliating body wash um this was pretty good this was like three bucks or something and it actually was nice and hydrating and exfoliating i do recommend though however if you are going to use this use a conditioning um, body wash afterwards and that's what I ended up doing and my skin just felt like my body it felt so nice it was just really really nice this was like three dollars and then just get you know something else that's conditioning that doesn't have a scrub in it because the scrub is getting rid of all the dead skin cells and you want to replenish your skin with moisture so that's why I recommend that. Yeah. Charcoal and black sugar polishing mask from Freeman's and I absolutely love this. I used this one day and then put on my makeup like an hour later or something and my skin was like looked so good. Two dollars and they have about five applications. I did it in the shower so because this was kind of a messier mask and you didn't have to leave this one on for as long. You left it on for about five minutes and then you just scrubbed it in, scrubbed it in, like massaged it into your skin for about one to two minutes and I actually did do that and it was just absolutely awesome. I got rid of all the dead skin cells and then just moisturized my skin afterwards and it was just a dream. My, it's not an empty, it's just kind of broken, but this is actually what my boyfriend, if you have a boyfriend who loves to play video games like live, like on Xbox Live or, or whatever it's called, like this was actually a really decent pair of head, like whatever, whatever this is, this is a headset or something. <laughs> Um, this is actually really decent. This lasted him for about a year, I would say, but he's really rough with his. Um, I think it was maybe even longer. Oh, it's been probably a year and a half, so like almost two years, but he was kind of rough with his, and, um, I don't know. 
if you're looking for a little gift to get your boyfriend, I think this thing was like 15 or I want to say this was like $15. He just got a new one recently though that's like a lot smaller. It's just like on, in the ear and it doesn't go over the head with like a little mouthpiece like this for like the same amount of money. So we'll see how long that one lasts. I don't exactly know what this brand was, but this little thing, he bought this because he thought the whole headpiece, like the whole um, headpiece here lighted up, but just this part lights up. So yeah, that's broken. AT Fiesta Yogurt Dip Treats, and they are the banana flavor, and they really, really liked these, and so did my dog. You're probably all going to yell at me, but every time I got these little goodies out to give Koali and Karma, he would come from downstairs, like, he would just hear the bag, and he would know it was this bag, because if I rattled any other bag, he wouldn't come. When I do my room tour, you're going to see this in my room, and I actually made it myself, so when that video goes up, this is what I used for it, and it's basically a marquee sign, but I did it all myself. I didn't buy the little signs that were like, I don't know what they were. I think the signs might have been $15, and then you had to buy these for like 3 and the lights for like 5 and if you had a large word to spell out, it wouldn't be cheap or anything like that. So I did it myself using the paper mache letters that you buy at the craft stores. Um, just kind of deconstructing them and poking holes in them, painting them, adding lights, and then putting these on. So some of these are from the lights, and some of these are the, yeah, these are the light strands. These are by Heidi Swap, and these are the Marquee Love. This is a light strand box, and I also have, maybe these are all just light strand boxes, but I also have the light strand, like the light covers, which look like the little marquee bulbs, I suppose. And then this is the Johnson's Head to Toe Baby Wash um, by Johnson & Johnson, of course. This is a really nice baby wash. Um, I just have like the little mini one because um, it took me kind of quite, it took me like quite some time to go through this. But this is a really nice face wash for the face and removing makeup. I use this in the shower um, and I loved it. The reason I have it is because I bought it for um, doing like cleaning my brushes and it works wonders for that as well. Um, so it's just a really great dual purpose thing, so I'd probably buy, I think I do actually have a bigger size of this somewhere, but I know I have another mini one. Um, I think the bare one that I have is just the, like, up and up brand from Target, but I love this. So I actually talked about this in my fall favorites tag, so if you haven't seen it, um, I'm going to link it down below for you guys to go and check it out. This is the Pumpkin Pecan Waffle Candle from Bath and Body Works, and I absolutely love this so freaking much. It just smells so buttery, so yummy, so waffly, so pecan -y. There's no pumpkin in here, but that's fine. This is actually just the mini one because at the time there was like a promo for a like free mini candle or something. Um, so I just picked this one up. We used it in the bathroom. It only lasted me about two burnings um, for probably like five, five to six hours, I would say. Um, but it's just like super cute to leave in your bathroom if you don't have a lot of space on the counter. Um... But right now, I actually have some Lush products on my counter that make the whole bathroom smell super good. Okay, another mask that I went to is the went through is the Freeman's Diamond Mineral Rinse Mask, and this one was also really really awesome. Um, again, it's just a very this one's not as harsh as the Black Charcoal Sugar. What is this? Charcoal and Black Sugar. This one is just very fine. It's very soothing. Um, and very hydrating too. This one smelled like blueberries and it does have blueberries in it or something. Um, I really doubt there's like diamonds in this, like, um, but it's some kind of, it did feel like a crystal type of texture. It smelled like blueberries and this one just smelled like kind of sugary and sweet. It didn't really smell like charcoal, so if you're wondering about that. Um... So I did a review on this a while back, and I absolutely love this product so, so much. So I'm going to go ahead and link the review to you guys for this product down below. And this is the Goat's Milk Solid Brush Cleanser from CEB Cosmetics. And it just came in this little tin, and as you can see, it's all gone. It's a solid brush cleaner. It really conditions the brushes. It cleans them very quickly. They dry even faster when using this, which is super duper true. Um, like, you even hear me say it in that review. It's so good. I would definitely probably pick another one of these up. They are pricey, but they're definitely worth it because I'm pretty sure these are like vegan or all natural or something like that. Um, I'm not quite sure though. I do say it in the review, but off the top of my head, I can't remember right now. But here it is. 
for you guys to see. So these are the always ultra thin like slender pads or something. Um, like these are okay. I don't really use pads all that often so I just had to get rid of them because they were just sitting there for no reason. That's the only reason I have these, so that's why they're empty. I do keep like a couple of pads still in my purse, but for the most part, they're all gone. It is also another video that I'm going to link to you guys, just talking about the new scents that Lollipop Bubbles did bring in. I'm not exactly sure if her shop is open yet, because she just um, recently moved. Link the shop down below and also that video. And um, yeah, this is her Strawberry Passion um, Body Butter. Absolutely loved this. I use these after the shower dying it smells just like a real strawberry that's how good it is and that's how yummy it is i absolutely love it they're super hydrating and i love them this is just a sample that she sent me they come in an actual like tub um that you would get a body butter in so just so you were if you were wondering that's what it is and the last thing here is this dentapain thing which is not empty whatsoever this is full this thing made me super freaking sick my mom was like Oh, you're using that? That makes me sick. And I'm like, yeah. And I put it on and then like literally probably 30 minutes later I was feeling really nauseous and stuff. And it just tastes disgusting. Like I know this stuff isn't supposed to taste good or anything like that. But I mean it was bad. So bad. Um, so I'm just getting rid of it and I don't recommend it because it made me nauseous. I don't know what's in here that made me nauseous but maybe it was just the taste. Honestly, I don't know. But that's it for my empties video. If you guys did enjoy this, please give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to check out all the videos that I list um, linked down below. And everything that I talked about in this video, if you forgot the name of it, will be listed down below in the description bar. If you guys want to know what's on my lips, just comment down below and I will reply back to you with what it is. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.